Smashing the M5 stick is really a piece of cake thanks to M5 burner application, which is basically a software provided by the vendor to select any device they support and applications that is made for. So you could see that as a app store. Let's select the stick C and I will type Nemo, which is the name of the application we are looking to flash. And right now you could see the application listed here. So what I will do now is hit burn. I see all the different device plugged here. So I'm going to hit serial and now start. If everything is all right and your computer have access to the M5 stick, it should flash it seamlessly. If you are using any Linux distro, you might need to take care of the permission and ensure the M5 burner is running with a user that is authorized to access to the serial ports. Okay, the flash is successfully. I'm going to switch from camera. Now let's browse to Nemo firmware. Here you could see this button on top is to go up in the menu and this one go down. You have a clock, you have a TV, this is a known device that is used to actually shut down TVs. If I select it, you could select either America or Asia, EU, Middle East or Africa database for all the TV you want to shut off. Then we're going to use US. Here I do not have a TV, but if you press again, then you could see all the different code that is going to be sent over the IR here. Wi-Fi spam. People are using the Flipper Zero with the Devo board module to send either funny SSID or Rick Wall one. If you are a fan of the song, then if you turn any device and scan the Wi-Fi, you will see the different SSID with the lyrics. Okay, the last but not least, Apple Juice exploit. Here, it's a BLE proximity pairing message spoofing. Then you have an exhaustive list of Apple device you could spoof and then nearby iPhone will get a notification about do you want to pair this device that is being spoofed by the M5 stick with your iPhone. There is even the crash script. We could run it. 